Well, LTT finally released the Linux Daily Driver Challenge. So I'm not a big fan of reaction videos. I really didn't want to make this video. Let's do a reaction video. And I decided to do a reaction video for it. We're back for the second part of the Linus Tech Tips Linux Gaming Challenge. I tried to apt get OBS. So let's start with him complaining about apt-get not working. Apt-get install OBS. Why isn't this working? Even someone very experienced with Linux can absolutely make this mistake. You can't install software the same way on Windows as you can on the Mac. Command not found. What does that mean? Command not found. Hmm. Any new Linux user would make this mistake. Maybe because the damn command doesn't exist. Especially if they're jumping between different distros. Paralyzing number of choices you have to make before you even get started. I'm not sure if Linus is actually trying to troll. While there are thousands of distributions, if you start researching the best Linux distributions, it's always going to boil down to a list of a top five. There really isn't that many. All those are based on like uh, Arch Linux. Use one of those. He's one of those. He's trying to make a bunch of hardware work that just is not gonna work. Emma, th that's true. Linus is a bit of a Windows fanboy. Ugh, I mean, come on, come on. But if your peripherals have a manufacturer provided tool mm -hmm. that is used to reconfigure RGB lighting or- It's important to know, Linux isn't for everything, it's not for everyone, it's not for every use case. But- mm have a manufacturer driver issues the liftoff distance of your mouse or the sensitivity steps of your dpi button mm -hmm, mm -hmm. then it's hair just oh. no moving on point number two what he was getting he was getting a web page downloaded every time he right clicked on that link and tried to save as in spite of its spectacularly stupid name pop exclamation mark underscore os i think pop os which is based on gnome is the hard end. that's what git and github or git is a tool strictly for version control like when something doesn't work you can tell yourself, you know, well, I never wanted to use that functionality. I get that he's just trying it out as a noob, but... I never wanted to play that game anyway. But honestly, it just comes across as sour grapes. It is not that easy to use. Linux can be used for everything. No, it can't. Linux can be used by anyone. No, it can't. So he types, yes, do as I say, and then is surprised that his entire computer collapses. Uh, through a program called GPhoto 2 and like some other terminal utilities, you can like make this weird video chain and make it work. Customization gets billed as this major selling point for Linux, and fair enough if that's your thing, but speaking on behalf of normies, I don't want a dozen novel ways to do the same thing. Are you kidding me? He's angry, frustrated, and in many cases, his criticisms, half of the criticisms he had on this video are completely unfair. They had absolutely nothing to do with Linux or Manjaro, the, the Linux distribution he was running. He was complaining about things that are way out of the scope. Adobe Suites, you can use GIMP, you can use Inkscape. There's a variety of applications, but they're not Photoshop. Okay, guys, Photoshop is fine. But GIMP can do everything Photoshop can do, and it can do it just as easily. Emma, th that's true. Streamer mode disables notifications. This happens on Windows as well. It's so you don't get like Discord things while you're streaming. That he was a little harsh, a little angry. And I, I think sometimes video content creators, especially sometimes when we're having a bad day that comes across on camera. So I would advise him 